Yesterday we weaned a patient from ventilator, right? The second bed. How is he now? Yeah, doc, so far no complaint. He's good. Okay, good. But doc, how do you decide whether to wean the patient or not? So there is no specific criteria, but there are few things you should consider before weaning the patient from ventilator. First one is understanding his primary pathology. And if the patient is showing good recovery trend from that, it's a good sign for weaning. Second, the patient should be conscious and he should be able to cough. Third, we should check his hemodynamic stability and his respiratory mechanics. And fourth, all these parameters like FAO2, PAO2 and PEEP, it should be in a desirable range. And it's good if the patient is afebrile so that we can avoid future complications. And the patient's PACO2 and pH should align with his clinical condition and it should be an acceptable range. But sir, how we actually win the patient? So there is a trial called spontaneous breathing trial. Here we will check whether the patient can be able to maintain his respiratory effort through a minimal ventilation support like pressure support ventilation or CPAP or through TPs. It will last from 45 minutes to 120 minutes. And if the patient can able to maintain his spontaneous breathing for 48 hours without the need for reintubation, then it is a successful weaning. It's so interesting learning from you.